Hey friends, welcome back to my little channel. Um, I want to thank you for watching the videos and apologize because this video is late. I should have done it a couple of weeks ago and I've just been busy with life, so I'm sorry about that. And I wanted to show you that I did continue on this picture just a little bit. I put in a little bit more shading on the polar bear and I colored some of the gifts. And I think today we're gonna to be working on mostly the gifts. There's some gifts down here in the water and a little bird. So we'll see how we how we how we go. Now I gotta admit, I started off with this with this um, video this morning on this package right here with the purple and the turquoise. Only the entire package was shot out of frame. So here we go, we'll start over again. No worries, no worries. All right, so um, let's see what colors we're gonna use. I really like all the zigzaggy colors in here and I'm thinking maybe some yellow. And I'm using my Castle Art pencils again. And I'm also using my Castle Art swatch sheet that will be available in the next swatch book that I have coming out. I've got the swatch book that's coming out has um, uh, swatches for 150, um, 120, 75, I'm sorry, is it 75 or 72? I can't remember. Um, 75, 50, 24. So there's a bunch of different ones. So if you wanted to see your entire collection of pencils, there should be a page where you can do this because I have found this page to be really valuable. I really like that I can see all the colors on one page without having to flip through pages to see which color I want to use. And that was, you know, that was really the inspiration for coming up with the, the book that was due out probably back when this video was also due out and it's it's still not a, available on Amazon, but it will be, it will be. All right, so anyway, back to our coloring. I'm thinking about this little package right here and I'm thinking some pretty yellows like number six. Let's go with that, it's a nice bright yellow. And maybe yellows into the greens like these limes. Let's try number 60. Here's number 60, yellow and green. And we're probably gonna need a little bit of shadow. So I'm thinking maybe this, this one down here is kind of a yellow green and it would make a nice shadow for our green color. I generally like to have three or four colors as a minimum for shadows. Okay, and then this bright yellow Maybe for shadow, we can use, let's see, I'm thinking maybe number 10. Let's give that a shot. And these colors, in case you haven't seen the other video, they all come, they came in this set. And there's many pages of colors. It's the biggest set that I, that I had, although I did get a 150 set of Prismacolors. So I'm really looking forward to using those as well. Okay, so I had said number 10, let's look at that. Number 10. All right, we'll just get started on these fun zigzaggy lines. That's a really nice, vibrant yellow. This year I'm doing something different with my packages, my Christmas packages. I bought some wrapping paper at the end of the year, you know, with their 75% off sales and so forth that they do. And I was able to get a variety of reds and whites, red and white polka dots, red and white stripes. So this year, all my packages will be very cohesive under the tree. There's not going to be as many packages as there has been in past years, though. But you know what? It's not about the packages. It's about the love that you have in your heart for the people that you have around you. And, and by around you, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're nearby. But they're nearby in your heart. Oh, I really 
really like that. I don't even think I'm going to put any shadow in that. I really like that bright yellow. Okay, let's try this green color. Oh, that one was my... Which one did I choose? Oh, yeah. Whoops, dropped it. Oh, I do like that. I'm probably not going to put any shadow on this one either. Let it be a bite, nice, vibrant, bright color package. So what kind of things have you guys been coloring? Let me know in your, in the comments. My channel is so tiny, but I did get a new subscriber from Moldavia. Thank you for that. I've never been to Moldavia. I'll have to visit it on the internet and see what it looks like. See what it's like there. It's amazing to me that I can be coloring here in my house, you know, in my little, my little town. And someone in Moldavia is enjoying this work. It's just astounding. Okay, so there's a nice yellow. I really like how bright that is, especially compared to, I mean, these are colored typically, not just, you know, in this. I want to use this pattern again in another package. Let's see. How about, let's try, let's try a little bit of pink. Do a pink package. Maybe, maybe this one's pink. Yep. And I'm using more pressure right now than I normally do to get that vibrant color. Like I said, I usually use three or four colors, sometimes even more, you know, to build up shadows and shades. This one, I'm, when you bear down a little bit harder, not, not very hard, just a little harder, you get more color out. And I think maybe the top of this might be pink too. Perhaps this little bow is pink. I've been asked, what is your favorite color? All of them. All of them are my favorite color. How about a little bit of, let's do, use a little bit of turquoise. This one is number 49. Maybe some unexpected color combinations. The reason I'm doing that is I've got this bright color and I've got some muted colors, so I want to have more bright colors mixed in. And I'm still not sure if this is going to be a daytime or a nighttime picture. guys do that too? I always twirl my, my pencil as I'm, as I'm coloring. I don't even really notice that I did it, that I do it, except this time I, I did notice, 
but most of the time I don't. I twirl it because it makes the it makes the, the pencil stay sharp longer. There we go. Now we need to do something with this one. The little dot inside. I think I'm gonna make that red. Oh yeah, I like that. Hmm. It makes me wanna go in and do some shading, but I'm not going to, I'm gonna limit myself. How about, maybe we do some of these stripes on this rounded package. Make them red. Ooh, look at that. Just by push, pushing down a little harder, because this is how I normally color. Nice and light, like this. Now you can also get that same dark by going nice and light. And then just coloring it again. Putting on another layer. See how it's building up? And actually, that's the better way to do it because I went outside the line right there, but it's light, so it doesn't really show up so much. If I was bearing down like I did on this side, that going outside the lines would really show up. I don't really mind if I go outside the lines. Hmm, I'm not gonna do this bottom one. I'm gonna leave this. I do wanna get that highlight in there and give it that rounded feel. And you get that by going dark on the edges and light in the center and you get, your eye just visually sees it as rounded, especially when the, when the line is rounded. It's not straight across. So I'm gonna make these two different colors. I think that's all the red I need. How about, you know, I don't think I see any orange in here. Let's do some orange. About number 17. I just didn't want to do the red right next to that pink. If I was smart, I would have started on this bottom stripe, but that's okay. I think maybe we're gonna use some of that bright yellow right here. Dogs are barking. Okay. That's fine. Bubba, come on. Hey, shh. Come on, Bubba. Come on. Dog unification. When the neighbor's dog barks, my dog has to chime in too. I think that's just a dog thing. And I do like how I made these kind of golden name tags. So we're, we'll do that on this one as well. But I've got one, one, two, three, four, five more packages on his back. And I think I'm going to make this one purple. What color purple? Let's see. Let's look at this chart and see what purple we want. I've already got this purple. I'm thinking maybe 36 and we'll match it up with 36 and well hmm I could go purple and orange on here
You know what? I might just do that. I might just do that. Purple and orange. Okay. So, number 36. And number 17. The same orange that we used over here. Let's see. Which one do we want purple and which one do we want orange? I think I'll do purple on the inside here. My granddaughter and I were coloring the other day and we, we did this little challenge where I had to color, I was coloring in my own book, the mandala book, and um, I would close my eyes and she would guide me to a group of colors, which I, did, I didn't know what they were, and I would choose colors and I, so, and I would color the mandala with, with that color. And that turned out to be a pretty fun challenge. You can do it by yourself. You don't have to have somebody else there. Just take some of your colors out and say, okay, I'm going to make this picture with, I don't know, eight colors or 10 colors, however many colors you want. And then one at a time, take, take like a pile of your pencils like these and then just randomly pick the color. Look at that brown. That's not a color that you generally see in mandalas. And actually I did, I did wind up picking a couple of different browns. Okay, so there's that purple, and we want this part probably to be, oh, you know what, maybe, maybe this little flap is purple, and the edges are orange. Or maybe there's no orange at all, maybe it's just going to be purple which is what I think is going to be. It's just going to be purple, so I'll have to pick out another color of purple as a shadow. Although you can see, just by varying the pressure of the pencil, you get all these different variations of color from one pencil. That's a challenge in itself. If you wanted to do a color challenge, just find one color that you like, let's say purple, and pick three shades of your purple and only use those to do an entire coloring page. I'm going to be doing that in an upcoming video. I don't know if it will be exactly that, but it'll be something along those lines. I already did the pencil challenge where I only used a Dollar Tree pencil, you know, a cheap number two pencil to color an entire mandala. And I really liked that. It was fun and I liked how it came out. You don't have to have fancy expensive colors or, you know, hundreds of colors to choose from to make a pretty picture. Well, I think that looks fine even with just 
this one one pencil I might go in and darken up a little bit here and there yeah I like that all right so let's do our our golden our golden ticket that we did I don't remember which colors I used to create that golden kind of shade. So let's just try it out again. Now I'm thinking, I'm thinking we probably used a little bit of light yellow. Maybe it's number five. Let's try that one. See if I was smart, I would just go back and watch the video because then I would know exactly how I did it. But let's just try it again and maybe it will look a little different and that's okay and then let's go with I want a little browner color maybe this number 11 okay there's number 11 and let's see what we can do with just these two colors so I'm going to start off with the yellow I like to do the lightest colors first. And then we're going to add just a little bit of brown to try and fool the eye that it's gold. See, I'm skipping a space where the yellow is. That's where the light would be hitting it. Okay, now I'm just going to get a, a little bit of a brighter yellow. Maybe that same yellow that I used here, but I'm going to go very, very lightly. There we go. And I'm going to get a deeper brown. Maybe number 114. Just a hint. Oh yeah, that definitely gives it a little bit of depth right there. Okay, I like that. Should we do the bow gold too, like we did over here? Yeah, let's do that. Why not, right? Why not? Go with a little bit of this lighter brown. Okay, now we'll go with a deeper brown. Every colorist is different. I like to go light to dark. Some like to go dark to light. Which way do you like it to go? In your blending colors. There are some colored pencils that I'm interested in trying out. Um, th this is just the deeper yellow. Uh, they are called Star Joys, and there's a lady who has a YouTube channel. I believe it's called Color My World, and she she really put these pencils together. So I'm, I'm really interested in trying them out because she keeps the color families together. So it's much easier to find, you know, colors that relate to one another. But that's going to be well into the new year before I do that. I did purchase a set of the Star Joys 
but I didn't realize that I had purchased the older Star Joys, not the new ones. And actually, I'm kind of glad about that because now I can, you know, compare the two. Because they're formulated differently. You know, there's a lot of differences in them. At first, I was disappointed that I got the wrong set. But, you know, it was my fault. I, I heard about them and, and I looked on Amazon. They were on sale, so I grabbed them. Okay, there we go. I like that purple. So now we just have a couple other packages to do. And I think what we'll do is a couple of these packages. We're already at 25 minutes. Um, should I keep going? Yeah, I'll keep going. I'll do a couple more packages and see how much time it takes. And then, and then we'll see where we're at. Actually, you know what I know what I'm gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this ball gold. Maybe. I'm gonna try. We'll see how it comes out. There is a gold colored pencil in here is there nope there's not some sets do have like a metallic gold in their sets it's only recently though that i've had you know big sets of pencils i've always had you know a 24 i think i did have a yes i had a 72 set of artezas that i i really enjoyed and i still have them and i sure I will still enjoy them. But this 120 set from Castle Art is the first, you know, big set that I've had. And now that I've got the 150 of Prismas, which was a birthday gift, and I appreciate it very much, from a couple of my family members who I just adore. Okay, so there is that yellow. Let's try this lighter brown to bring it out, to bring out the gold. I look at that shadow. I'm not sure if this is looking gold or if it's just looking yellow. All right, I'm gonna go in with a darker brown. actually. 
Now let's give it a little brightness with this brighter yellow. should that one have? How about a pretty blue? Pretty blue. How about number 44? 44. A nice deep blue. So I'm working on a new, a new kind of coloring page. And I'm hoping that other people will like it. What it is, I'll tell you. I, I do a lot of digital painting of pets mostly. And the digital paintings are super realistic. Everybody says, oh, that looks like a photo. But it's not a photo, it's, it's a digital painting. And I was thinking that there's probably a lot of colorists out there who would really like to color something that comes out and, and looks almost like a photograph when they're finished coloring it. So that's what I'm working on. Well, that's pretty. Let me just darken up these edges. Up here, you can see where I went out of the lines with the yellow. It's fine. I need my eyes checked, and I often wonder, am I going to be really surprised when I look at my coloring, when I get my new glasses? Ooh, I'll be able to see the flaws. That's okay. Okay, so we've got this blue. Maybe we'll do this part a nice blue, too. Yeah, we'll do the whole thing blue. There we go. So that's the base of it. Let's do, let's do some highlights and shadows. I really am kind of concerned about what what my stuff is going to look like once I have my eyes checked again. But you know what? I'm not coloring for anyone really but me. And if I'm getting joy putting color on paper, it really doesn't matter. I'm not I'm not creating something for sale. When I when I do the digital paintings, I can zoom way way in. So even if my vision is a little bit soft, it will still look good because I've zoomed so far in. Okay, we th I think I do need a different color to help bring that blue out. How about number 40? 40? 40 is a, a blue that's 
almost on the purpley side. Let's try that for a shadow. Okay, all right, so now we're at 36 minutes. So that took about 10 minutes to, to color that one piece. How about we leave it here, and when we come back, I'll either have finished these, pre these presents and we can work on the bottom ones, or I will just come on and then quickly show you the finished picture. I'm not sure which way I'm gonna go. But anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this coloring, and happy coloring to you. See you later. Bye.